Hello, I am Siam Pasarlai, motivation speaker and business coach. Today, I am talking about a very important topic, Afghanistan and Pakistan business relationship. Ups and downs as well as the solutions. Did you know Pakistan is the largest importer of Afghanistan products, while Afghanistan is the fourth largest destination Pakistan exports? If you want to start your own business, especially export and import, here is a very big potential. Pakistan and Afghanistan are sharing the longest border of 2430 kilometers and have got three main ports. Two ports are official and one port is semi-official or unofficial. The two official borders are Turham and Spinbuldak. Turham located between Nangarhar and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Spinbuldak is located between Kandahar and Chaman. The third one, which is semi or unofficial border located between Khost and Waziristan. These three ports are the most important ports. These three ports connect Afghanistan with Pakistan. Afghanistan and Pakistan have got four types of business relationship. First, trade relationship, export and import. Second, transit relationship. Third, joint investment. Fourth, multinational investment or implementing the multinational projects. First trade, both countries are doing export and import through Spinbuldak, Turham and Ghulam Khan ports. Afghanistan export dry fruit, fresh fruit, vegetables, minerals, animals, labor, patients, raw materials and many more to Pakistan. Pakistan also export many things to Afghanistan, specifically dry fruit, fresh fruit, vegetables, food and fruits, raw materials, construction materials, medical equipment and medicines, toilet articles, household articles, technology, beauty and fashion goods, overall all cosmetics, textile, clothing and food wares and many other important goods are exporting from Pakistan to Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a very good market for the Pakistani products. Second transit relationship. Afghanistan need Pakistan and Pakistan need Afghanistan. Afghanistan needs crossing Turham, Ghulam Khan or Chaman to transit Afghan goods through Pakistan, Karachi, Qasim Khan, Waga and Gwadar ports to the rest of the world. Pakistan needs Afghanistan to access the Central Asian countries as well as all the neighboring countries of Afghanistan. For example, I'm going to clarify this. Pakistan needs to transit Pakistani goods to Iran through Islam Qala and Zaranj borders to Uzbekistan through Hayratan to Tajikistan through Sher Khan Bandar to Turkmenistan through Aqina and Turgundi ports. So Pakistan needs Afghanistan to transit Pakistani goods to the Central Asian countries and we need Pakistan to transit our goods to the rest of the world. To have good trade and transit relationship, both countries signed the ATA agreement in 1965. Later on, in 2010, both countries renewed the ATA and signed the APTA agreements between each other. Unfortunately, both of them are expired. Third, joint investment. This is very much important. Afghanistan and Pakistan business people have already joint investment in Afghanistan as well as in Pakistan. In Afghanistan, there are many joint companies in Kandahar. Nangarhar, Khos, Paktia, Paktika, Kunar and other provinces as well as there are many other joint investment in Peshawar, Quetta, Khyber Pankhutunkhwa, Baluchistan, Waziristan, Karachi, Lahore and other states of Pakistan both have joint investment in different sectors. Fourth, multinational investment or implementing the regional projects. Afghanistan and Pakistan are partner in big projects specifically in regional projects for example Tapi Casa 1000, which is the energy project, as well as the Lopez Luzuri regional projects. These are big projects. Afghanistan and Pakistan have the main role in the implementing of these projects. If Afghanistan and Pakistan make decision to work with each other, believe me that these two countries will connect Central and South Asian countries. By connecting the Central and South Asian countries, Lots of other small, medium and large businesses will create it. Besides, many jobs will create to the Afghanistan, Pakistan and other nationality. Afghanistan, Pakistan relation was not stable. It had ups and downs. In 2010, in the past, the relationship was good. The trade balance was 
2.5 billion dollars. But unfortunately, in 2011, 12, 13, 14, after these years, the relation get worse. And now we have 1.4 billion trade balance with Pakistan. I just explained the past, present, and now I'm going to tell you the future. If the situation get better, business relationship, the political relationship get better, of course, the trade will also get better. We will have lots of joint investment and the trade and transit will increase. Again, I'm going to summarize this one. In the past, we had $2.5 billion trade balance in the present, we have $1.5 billion. In the future, it depends upon the condition. If the condition get better, our business will also improve. The question is here that why Pakistan lost Afghanistan market? Why the trade balance decreased from $2.5 billion to $1.4 billion? Here are a couple of reasons. The first reason is political instability. Unfortunately, because of the political relationship, most of the time, Turkham, Spin Buldak, and Ghulam Khan borders are banded in front of the business people. Banding of these borders caused many damages for Afghanistan and Pakistani business people. That's why Afghanistan people turn their face to other countries. Second, due to the entrance of Iran and India to Afghanistan market. Third, Afghanistan business people started importing from Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan. And also, we are transiting or we are using Chabahar and Abbas border for our transit purpose. The solution, this is the most important. Four solution, the most important solution. Both countries need to review the APTA and re-sign the APTA agreement. Second, as a close neighbor, both countries need to have a strong political relationship as well as business relationship. Third, both countries should provide friendly investment, trade, and transit facilities and opportunities. Fourth, in case of any dispute, the dispute should refer to WTO, ECO, SARC, or to other international chamber of commerce or organization. The dispute should solve through mediation and arbitration. The last but not least, here is an outstanding business opportunities between Afghanistan and Pakistan, especially for young entrepreneurs or for young business people. First, still both countries are exercising the traditional business relationship. Still, if you go to Torham, Spinbola, Ghulam Khan, and other ports of Pakistan, as well as in Afghanistan, see Afghanistan and Pakistan business people are using traditional way to do business. The young entrepreneurs, young business people can modernize it. And there is a very big opportunity for you people. Young people can change this relationship to positive relationship as well as to modernize this relationship. A study or import and export business right now because it is easier, faster and cheaper than other countries. Third, to join investment. There is a huge potential for doing joint investment in different sectors, specifically agriculture sector, education sector, health sector, mining sector, production sector, energy sector, and many other sectors. Fourth, both countries, young people love each other. And they have got a strong social relationship. We can change the social relationship to business relationship quickly. Finally, if you want to start your own business, specifically trade, export, and import with Asian countries, contact us. We will guide you. We will provide you many more information. And for more information, I can request to subscribe my channel, watch the videos, share the videos. I'm going to make the videos in English language. I'm working hard to provide you outstanding content to help you in your further careers. I have a series of books, 14 books which developed by USID. These are extremely important books. If you want to start and improve your business fast and quickly, please drop me your email address. I will send you the complete packages.